Welcome to my world. We're gonna uh, go for a little walk here. I am currently in Ontario, Canada, and it was my daughter's 16th birthday yesterday, Jocelyn. We have three daughters, so Jocelyn's 16, Jubilee is 13, and our youngest, Jessa, is uh, 10 years old, and we homeschool our girls. This is the, our two oldest right here on the couch. What are you guys watching? Meet the Robinsons. So uh, we are in a house that my parents are renting us right now as I'm on sabbatical. And we've been here for a little over a year. Uh, during that time, my desire was to really seek the Lord and see um, what he has for us in the next little while. And uh, in doing that, we feel strongly, uh, we being my wife, Michelle and I feel strongly that he um, wants us to get back into full-time ministry and really pursue uh, my calling in worship. Uh, I, I come from 18 years of worship ministry already. This is my desk. Oh, and this is my daughter's new selfie stick. So I'm, I'm playing with that. And uh, you know, it wouldn't be Canada without a wood stove. Uh, my drum kit, my bass, um, just stuff that uh, that are tools of the trade when you're a musician and a worship leader. Let's step outside. It's so beautiful here um, that I wanted to kind of show your surroundings and you'll be jealous. Hopefully you guys don't wait 18 years to have a sabbatical and kind of remove yourself uh, from the situation. But here we are on the farm. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, why would we leave this? Well. I don't want to do construction my whole life. Uh, it's something we've always done as a side uh, thing. And I'll just show you a little example of um, what I've done in my spare time while I'm here. Oh, over here's, I built chicken coops. Um, my wife and I have always had chickens in, the, in Denver. And um, we've kind of done the backyard farming thing and uh, built a number of them for friends here in Canada. And, whoops, over here is Tree Fort. This is what I'm currently building and will be leaving behind, but um, because this is my parents' property, it's something that um, you know we'll be able to come back and visit. Here are some of our chickens. Here are Todd, our dog, in the background. Well, anyways, this gives you guys a little bit of insight into um, my life, my world. Uh, my wife has been canning and doing some incredibly wholesome things. I think, you know, she grew up in the mountains of Colorado. That's where I met her in Denver. And uh, um, we fell in love in YWAM, or Youth with a Mission, and spent 14 years serving um, as missionaries and training missionaries to go out into the field. Um, during that time, I led the School of Worship for 10 years and developed a recording studio. Uh, which is what I pursued after leaving YWAM, was um, developing worship artists and independent Christian music artists. So I'm walking over to a stinking huge garden <laughs> so I can introduce you to my youngest daughter, Jessa, and my wife. The selfie stick thing's cool. I hope you guys don't mind watching. It's a little long, I know, but it kind of gives you an idea of who we are and Jessa. Here, I'm gonna, can you say say hello to the people watching this? Here. <laughs> She's planting. Can you say hello? Hi. <laughs> That's Jessa. And this is my beautiful wife, Michelle. Hi, hello. <laughs> we um, have enjoyed being here and plan that this will likely be our last summer. Thanks. <laughs> our last summer in um, Ontario as we hope to get a placement with uh, a church. We're open to um, really serving anywhere God has for us. The key for us is that we would uh, be somewhere that takes worship seriously. Um, I've taken it, I've devoted my life to glorifying God through music. Um, and yes, worship is a lifestyle, but it's also a discipline and it's uh, um, clearly an event too because we dedicate 20 minutes to it every Sunday morning um, and it, and you know give it our best so um, worship something I, I've done a lot of teaching on uh, I've traveled all over the world in YWAM um, teaching on worship and 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm passionate about generational um, worship, so people coming together who are old, who love hymns, um, to the youngest of kids who want to do actions, uh, to the people who like to kind of stand there unsure of whether or not to engage. Those are my favorite people because uh, uh, I love to try to engage those people. That's, that's what I find my challenge is um, and what I've been successful in. Uh, after leading worship for uh, many, many hours uh, every week in YWAM, uh, we had uh, worship times that went from half an hour to two hours three times a week. Um, it just became uh, second nature to get up and, and lead people. Uh, it's something I love to do, and I recently just got footage, uh, hopefully you'll see that, uh, from Faith Bible Chapel, which is the last uh, church that I led worship in primarily. And uh, I think through that you'll see that's a team of musicians, none of them professionals. Um, actually, two of them I'd never played with before that Sunday because it was uni unique circumstances leading there. Um, but uh, nonetheless, the presence of God um, was in that place. And really just a joy and a desire to lead people um, first and foremost to, um, to get themselves off the throne and let Jesus be there. And you guys know when that happens, um, it gives freedom for, for Christ to move in our lives. So anyways, I know I'm going on a little bit, but uh, uh, I hope you consider me. I hope if, if we're a fit, if we're not a fit, if I scare you a little bit, then um, you'll, find, you'll find the right person and, uh, uh, for your team. I hope to be um, part of a team that is passionate about Jesus and passionate about people, um, where church can be a place that people come and um, we can wash the, the, the dust off their, their feet from being in the world and uh, extend grace and love and peace and send them back out, the power of the Holy Spirit to, um, to be missional, to change the world around them um, through the power of Jesus in us. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Hello, this is John Connor. If you're listening, you are the resistance.